Hey, welcome back to Gold Scratch. So we're still working on Tony Guzzo's 302. And the last thing in the process of the short block is uh, tightening, torquing, measuring stretch on the connecting rod bolts. And the process that I use when I do any assembly is to try to use uh, sort of an assembly line process. Whatever your process is, do all eight cylinders before you start anything else. And so I put all the pistons in, I just snug up the rod bolts and they come back that way. I finished all the pistons are in. I could take my time now in uh, doing the final assembly of the rod bolts, torquing the rod bolts. So we use that term. So this, uh, the rods we're using are SCAT forge rods with ARP 2000 rod bolts. And uh, so the process that SCAT has might surprise you. We have an ARP rod stretch gauge, and we're going to show you how that works and the proper way to use that and what the benefits of it are. Uh, but one of the other points to make is always read the instructions. So if you read the SCAT instructions, which kind of uh, might be not what you might expect, other than all the preliminary stuff that you get to. Uh, torque the bolts in two steps, recommended torque. We use torque, not stretch to tighten. So even though we're going to check it by stretch, the recommendation from SCAD is to use torque to tighten. And we're going to show you the benefits of each. And the point of stretches there is in the, we'll put a, Michael put a screenshot of this up, they recommend for the ARP uh, 2000 cap screws that we're using here, 50 foot pounds with ARP Molly lube, which we've got. You get a little package with the bolts as well, but I got on my own container of it. And uh, it's pretty good lube. It uh, does give you a full benefit of, it's basically a Molly, uh, but it, does give you the benefit of you're going to get as much less friction as much stretch as possible using it. So they recommend 50 foot pounds or not to exceed 58 or 5.8 thousandths of an inch, 0, 0, 0058 thousandths of an inch. So the criteria is 50 foot pounds, and the recommendation is if you've exceeded that stretch, then you got to discard the bolt. So we just sure want to make sure we don't do that. So the process that I use is uh, we're set up here with this one. So we start off with a bolt that's at totally relaxed state, and we put the stretch gauge in and measure the stretch, measure the length of it or zero it. So the little point, there's a little dimple in the back of an ARP bolt. It's difficult to do this unless you've got bolts that are designed for it, but the bolts have a little dimple to align properly. So we install the gauge. Get it aligned properly and make sure it's in the center of the hole and zero the gauge. Okay. Let's, let's set it free there. Okay. Zero the gauge. Take it out. So it says 50 foot pounds or not to exceed 58, 5.8 thousand. So let's try starting 50 foot pounds. I've already put the molly on, trust me, under the head of the bolt and in the threads as well. And we'll do that all in one process. One other point to mention is when we tighten it, the recommended is to take two steps to tighten. But the point is, you have to remember that uh, static friction is more than dynamic friction. So the breakaway torque that it takes to get moving is higher than the torque it takes to keep moving. So you have to remember that. If you tried to torque it to say, you got five thousandths of an inch of stretch, so you torque it a little bit more, uh, that's probably not the best way to do it. You should really back it right off and do it all over again because you should finish with one free motion. So we're going to try and show you that. So the bolt is totally relaxed in this relaxed state. We just measured this, this, the relaxed state dimension of it, zeroed it. So get the wrench halfway through, and then I'm going to finish with right there. So that's one motion. And now we'll see how much stretch we got with the ARP gauge. So zero the gauge again. A little tricky getting it in the little dot there in the bottom, but we will. There you go. We've got five, almost five and a half thousandths of an inch of stretch. 
with 50 foot pounds. So I'm staying right there. What it says is, according to uh, Scott, do not exceed 5.8 thousand. So I got 5.5. Good enough for me. I'm leaving it right there because if I was to try at some higher torque and it went to 6.8 thousandths, according to uh, Scott, I got to discard those bolts and start over again. So uh, what we found, by the way, the ARP bolts are the ultimate, the art of the 2000 bolts. They're beautiful pieces. This will be very, very repeatable. I'll get, I can tell you right now from the mount that I've done, exact same results within uh, you know, less than a half a thousandth of an inch uh, with every one. So typically you could just use the five or 50 foot pounds of torque that uh, SCAT recommends and you'd have it covered. So that's just a quick lesson. Remember that you can't use incremental torque. You have to finish with a full motion of torque. Uh, to, because you don't want to be dealing with static friction and get your final measurement. The key is uh, they recommend using a torque wrench, torquing it, using the stretch gauge to make sure you don't exceed the stretch. So uh, speaking of stretch and all that, I've got another video coming out when I was at Foresight College a month ago. I made a presentation on fasteners, all about stuff like this. So it'll be coming out soon. Watch for that. Hope you find it interesting. Please like and subscribe. Uh, we're going to continue to make interesting videos, but we need you to subscribe because when we're making videos, we're not getting edges together. So I got to make it worthwhile. Otherwise, uh, it's not. So thank you for liking and subscribing. Thank you for watching Gold Scratch.